Nathan is an autistic spectrum teenager. He has become more independent, more prepared to make his own breakfast, make his own lunch in order to be prepared for the working day. Project Surge began about 16 years ago. I was the director of the A&E department at the hospital where I worked and I just had an awareness that our hospital served all of these people with disabilities. So many people were coming to us for medical care and yet we never had ever looked at them as future employees. Whitefield is one of the largest special education providers in the UK. When young people left school, they often didn't make it into the employment market. Waltham Forest Council were very active in listening to us. So then we had a three-way partnership, the school, the hospital and the council. Barts Health as a, as a trust are, are very focused on the local community. We are one of the biggest employers in the area. We have six sites, so we can offer employment to local people. But it's very important to us in the fact that trying to help students who have got learning difficulties to give back something to the community. Interns go off into their placements uh, for 10 week rotations. So there'll be a 10 week period before Christmas where they have their first placement. 10 weeks after Christmas, between Christmas and Easter, they have their second rotation and then the summer term is their final rotation uh, with the aim of the working towards getting a job. My name is Ben Osborne. Being on Project Search is interesting because I'm trying new things. Every Wednesday we check stuff what we need and tomorrow it will come in and I have to put it away. Right from the off um, I knew what Ben was all about. You know, he was always willing to learn, plenty of enthusiasm. Uh, but during, even during the first sort of few weeks, um, you could see the confidence coming out, Ben. Uh, I think it's probably a little lack of confidence at the beginning, but that's understandable, you know, with anyone going into a new position. When I first started my intern, my first one, I was shaking and everything, and I was worried what, if I break anything, what happens? Then I, when I got used to all the machinery, I thought, right, I'm confident enough, yes, do it. Ryan's second rotation has been really successful. It's in endoscopy, doing three days a week in the reception area and then two days a week in the decontamination unit. What we found was that they actually really, really wanted him full time in the decontamination unit. So halfway through that placement, he built on his administrative skills that he had, but then he wanted a bit more clinical exposure and they needed him and wanted him. So we said, fine. I was actually asked to do water sampling with someone, with my, my colleagues and then they asked me to take out a few scopes from the camera holders and load them up into bags and then let other doctors take them. From where he started with me, he wasn't too um, confident of walking all by himself, but I understand his kind of learning needs and I had to take it gradually with him. I don't make him feel like I'm the bossy bossy type. I make him feel relaxed. I'm really proud of him because he really, within a short space of time, he really did well. Project Search is brilliant. I work very hard with me and my friends. My name's Ria Lovell. I'm an intern on Project Search. I've just completed my second rotation, which is all surgery, but I'm also doing that for my third. Sometimes pick up patients' folders and take their names off the clinic list. I restock the equipment, like the instruments or the gloves, assist in MOSs and biopsies. Three was an admissions clerk. So that involved him learning how to pull medical notes. He was really doing the role of a health records clerk, but for admissions. Um, which is crucial for them. They have really tight deadlines when they need files pulled by, needed a lot of perseverance. He has to go and use his communication skills to inquire with secretaries and consultants, and he did really, really well. I have recently just finished my second rotation in portering. I've enjoyed working 
and being a part of the porters because they really welcomed me. It's so awesome to see him down the corridors pushing real patients and chatting away and he's even been allowed to help push deceased patients down to the morgue. And there's a real strict procedure to do with that about maintaining dignity and respect and limiting the exposure to any other patients. What we do with the speech therapies is helping the students to speak, um, how to speak on the phone. We role play like the nice person or the not so nice person, so it gives the students the opportunity to see what it's like and how we would deal with it. She will try and help us with our confidence on the phone because in our in some of our workplaces, some of us have we have to pick up the phone and answer it. Okay, so if you go to your pharmacy and describe to them what type of pain you're feeling at the moment, they can give you suitable painkillers. As a parent, I think Project Search has many, many positive aspects. We treat people with special education needs extraordinarily poorly in this country. They have much to offer if properly supported. Project Search is the first real opportunity that we've had in this country that gets numbers of young people with learning disabilities or physical disabilities into work in a meaningful way and sustains them there. I'm most proud of the fact that Project Search allows young people with disabilities to realize a potential that no one ever thought they had. Such an opportunity and they so deserve to be in a work environment like we all are. Do you hope to happen in the future once you finish? Get my own house, get a posh car, get a girlfriend and get a job. They by supporting me with anything I need and give me the support that people need and, and helps me out a lot with my um, confidence. I feel happy and independent and flexible. I would like to be a healthcare worker because I enjoy it. They came in, all of them came in as children really and some of them are a bit surly teenagers and who've never had any sort of confidence before, not encountered much success in their lives, and now they walk around the hospital like any other member of staff. People respect them and people like them and they're, they're not just treating them as kids who've come for work experience, they're real people that are gaining skills to hopefully go on to employment. I can't believe it's going to be the end of the first year soon, I really can't. They have been incredible as our first cohort, it's been awesome.